Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and this is part 7 and the last part of the Legwork tutorial. So, I remember last part I said that I was going to fix this stretching, but as I looked at it, the way we set up the rig, it would take too much to do, so I'm not going to be doing that. So, we're just going to set up a few more things, and uh, then it'll be done. So, first of all, when we try to rotate this, it rotates all weird. So we're going to go ahead and fix that. So select this bone here. You have to go into edit mode. Select the bottom part. Make sure you have this one selected. Now go ahead and go on the side view. And just extrude it out like this. Okay. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and name these. Let's call this foot underscore rot for rotation. Dot L. And dot R for the other side. Go ahead and copy these okay so now you want to set this one to be the parent of this so select that one and then select the leg bone and press control P and keep offset hold on sorry mm -hmm. okay so now we want uh, this bone to be a parent of I mean to be a child of this bone control P keep offset and the same for this one offset and because we have X axis mirror on it did the exact same thing yeah so now it still works exactly the same except now we can rotate it normally that's pretty cool so let's go ahead and turn these two off uh, um, lock these just press N lock them so that it can only rotate on the X axis cool the same here. Okay. It's pretty good. So now let's go ahead and set up one master bone so that instead of selecting the torso, we can just select a, tor a bone, a long bone out here, like this. Press E to extrude on the y axis to make it pretty big. Press Control N to clear up the roll just to make sure. So now let's go ahead and parent a lot of the, just parent some bones here. Let's go ahead and make this a child of this. Control P. Uh, keep offset. Make this a child of nothing. Oh, it already is. Oh, cool. So now it moves like this. Let's go ahead and name this master. Because it'll be the master bone that moves everything. And uh, let's go ahead and turn this to stick. And uh, we have a pretty good leg rig. Okay. So, one more thing. Go ahead and select this. And I looked. Go ahead and put the armature uh, modifier at the very top. And put these subsurf um, modifiers later. And turn the, the simple subdivision that we had earlier also to a Catmull Clark. Because this just smooths out all of the deformations made. So let's go ahead and let me show you how it looks like. Right off. Look, all of the deformations occur extremely well. As you can see, the stretching is very nice. The rotation is also perfect. Let's go ahead and turn this off here. So this is very nice. And you even get some additional meat packed on, so that's pretty cool. Alt R. Okay, this works perfect. Go ahead and try out the knee targets. See how that works. Pretty good. Go ahead and try out the hip bone. Oh, well, that's not, let's go ahead and rotate it. Pretty good. And now let's just go ahead. Hold on. And see what the whole bone structure looks like when we go ahead and do stuff like this. Cool. So yeah, so we set up a very nice, very cool leg rig, and it's pretty, pretty easy to do. Only took seven parts. So um, yeah, so now you guys can make your own leg rigs. And it's a really fun and easy thing to do. So, 
just remember what I said if you guys want nice deformations make sure to put armature for the armature modifier first then the subsurf modifier two subsurf modifiers okay so I'm gonna go ahead and save this and yeah so this has been another tutorial series small one by me and um, if you have any questions just um, leave me a message or a co comment on a video or on my page so thanks for watching and be sure to watch some more so thanks